Hey guys, so today we're gonna be unboxing my Beautylish Extra Large Lucky Bag. I was one of the lucky few that were able to get this. I just went on the time that they, you know, announced that it was gonna be going live. I ordered it. I had no idea it was gonna be so difficult. I also had no idea that they were opening it up to everyone. In the past, it was only available, the extra large size was only available to those who had spent, I think, $1,000 or more in that calendar year. So I think it was pretty disappointing to a lot of the really loyal Beautylish customers, those that purposefully went on to Beautylish to purchase things so that they had access to this extra large bag. So I know in previous years, people thought it was really unfair. So I think Beautylish is trying different things to make everyone happy. Anyway, I do hope Beautylish goes back to um, having the extra large bag only for those that spent a certain amount, whatever that amount is. I mean, just something to kind of reward their loyal customers because they don't have any other like loyalty program. They don't have like a rewards program or anything like that. So I think it would be a good idea to kind of go back to what it was, you know, giving people like exclusivity to these extra large bags or at least early access, like something, something for their loyal customers. But anyway, that's just my two cents. Let's go ahead and open up my extra large box here. So as you guys know, I've been away in New York for the past two weeks, so I haven't really seen a lot of pictures or watched a lot of videos on these Beautylish Lucky Bags, so I'm really, really curious to see what is in mine. So exciting. All right, so here is the inside of the box. We have the Beautylish Lucky Bag wrapping paper, and uh, it just talks about how Lucky Bags are Japanese New York custom. So let's go ahead and just open this guy up. I actually went through all the motions and um, unboxed everything on camera, but I wasn't actually filming. I blame jet lag. I did just get back from New York City last night. So anyway, I've unpacked everything. Let me just go ahead and show you what I got. So I got the Wayne Goss Double Zero Powder Brush. Look at how beautiful this is. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. And I love brushes like this. I just think they're so cool. And the fact that this is undyed goat hair, I can use this with like creams and liquids. And I don't have a lot of uh, larger natural hair brushes that I can use with liquids and creams. So anyway, I'm really excited for this. And then I also got this Good Molecules Wake Up Eye Serum. This is something that apparently is coming soon to Beautylish. This is a K-Beauty brand. Uh, I think, at least it's made in Korea. I think it's a drop, yeah, it has a dropper because the directions say massage a few drops into the skin around your eyes in the morning and night. So this is what it looks like. Oh, it's a nice uh, glass frosted bottle. It has a little dropper there. So that's exciting. I can't wait to give that a shot. I also got the Viseart 12 Pan Sultry Muse Palette, which is awesome. I think I already have this palette. I just have to dig through my collection. I know I have like the Paris Nudes. I'm pretty sure I have this uh, Sultry Muse, but these 12 Pan Viseart palettes are so beautiful. If I do have this one, I'm gonna put it into a giveaway. So definitely stay tuned for that. I also got a Lena Chu lipstick. This is a fairly new brand at least to Beautylish, and I've never heard of it before, but this is a Chinese company, and they have eight lipsticks. They're all like a variety of red, and they're all named after artists. So I got Da Vinci, and it comes in the most amazing packaging. So here is the box, and I don't know if you can see, but there's like little, it's like stardust, like stardust all over the box. It has Lena Chu written on there. It has their logo at the top, which looks like one of those old fashioned Chinese stamps. And then you open it up and there's like this red flap. And then inside is the lipstick, which is in this really, really deep, deep, deep burgundy velvet pouch. It probably looks black to you, but it's a deep burgundy. It's gorgeous. And then here is the lipstick. It's actually like the packaging is a little bit bulky and the logo is stamped on the top. Lena Chu is here on the packaging. Can you see that? There's Lena Chu. And then here is the inside. So there's like red on the inside there. There's like some artwork stamped on the gold there. And then there is the Lena Chu logo stamped into the bullet. 
and this is such a beautiful color. Now, I'm not swatching this because when this brand was launched on Beautylish, I was like, I want to get them all. They all look really, really beautiful. But I looked at the ingredients and kaolin, which is a clay, and I've mentioned this before, but my skin does not react well to kaolin. It really dries it out because I think it is a clay and it brings out my eczema. It doesn't do it quickly. It's not like I have a violent reaction to it, but I'm gonna look at the ingredient list again and see like how far up Kaolin is. If it's kind of far up in the list, I probably shouldn't risk it and should just gift this to someone because it's such a beautiful, beautiful lipstick um, that I don't want to waste it. You know, use it once, realize it gives me eczema and then have to toss it. In any case, that's the situation with this Lena Chu lipstick. I really hope that I can use it. I hope the Kaolin is far down. I just can't remember at the moment. But anyway, that is something that I got. And I also got the Orbe Travel Kit, which has the Gold Lust uh, shampoo and conditioner. It has a lip uh, treatment balm, which I'm like most excited for because this is one Orbe product that I have not tried yet. It has the dry shampoo, and it also has the Cote d'Azur Rollerball perfume in here. I love this bag. So it has a zip closure, but it's also framed at the top there's like a frame in here so it's like easy to open it doesn't it's not like soft all the way around so that it collapses on itself and look at that beautiful lining oh it's just gorgeous so i'm really excited for this and then last but not least i got this really cool brush case so it's from brushworks which is embossed down there and it's this really neat kind of like pink gold textured i'm thinking this is like a faux leather uh zip around there's like this cool tassel <laughs> on the zipper and inside, look how cool that is. It has all these like spots for brushes, but the cool thing is you can bend this back and then these like snap together. I won't do that right now, but you can snap it together so it stays like this. So you have like a brush easel. It's like so cool and so perfect for someone that travels a lot. Because when I travel, I have my brushes like all in my Eason brush book, which is awesome um, and much smaller and compact than this. But they're all sitting like in a little brush pocket and I have to take them out. And then they're all just sort of like sitting out all over the countertop where this if I just have that easel and can just stand them up, I can just open and close really easily and like put them back where they need to be. This is great. So I'm really excited for this. So that is what I got in my Beautylish Extra Large Lucky Bag. I've done it now for two years and I've loved every minute of both years. There's, It's just a lot of fun. I'm not one always that's like into surprises, but for some reason I really love these Lucky Bags. It's just exciting to open up. And I'm sorry, I wish I captured like me actually going through the box or whatever, because I do think that's a little bit more exciting, but jet lag prevailed. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please comment down below uh, if you got one, what you got in there. I would love to know. And subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in my next video.